That's a good counter state. That's a good counter state. That's a good. That's a good counter. That's actually pretty sick. So now I know what its utility is. That's awesome. Bro. Ah, Clive, I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if these pool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well... The Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it, but I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. Get no sugar rings. It's all greens. It's all greens, yeah. Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And chocobos love them, too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get Eastpool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. And if he don't, well, I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. Actually, we're going rekindling the flame too, so we are actually... <coughs> go back home to talk to the Wade Wool. Hold on a minute, because I got two two quests at home that because they're at home. Come back. Kote. Don't tell me we've run out of papio nuts and all. Bloody hell, Clive. <laughs> Not this again. Yeah, we're here again, my guy. <sighs> and you got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Okay. Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. <laughs> that ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We Ooh. apprenticed together uh. back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? Mm -hmm. I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. Mm -hmm. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. 
What did I fall possible? That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters because engraving metal's a nightmare and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. <laughs> my armor keeps you lot safe and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay he's, him a visit? He's motivated. Learn his secret. I oh, doubt no, he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. Mm -hmm. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What do you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. <laughs> and it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravosh, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. No oh boy. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of papio nuts and all. It's a dangerous world out there. Let's... I'm be thankful you got that much. You got out else? You even know. Is that all? Oh, something way down there too. What do you want? Ooh. No scratches, all right? Just two here, it's like three. There was been like the like, next two, three hours doing side quests, guys. Let's get them all queued in. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Yep. Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a marble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. Mm -hmm. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. Show one vine.
And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Okay, sir, can I have some? Hang on, we're queuing this in. Why is it locked? There's specific reason why it's, I've never seen that before. I've never seen a a locked side quest before. <coughs> is it because I'm doing too many at one time? Canva lost. Miss, can we read Miss Editor's story for a lesson? Might be a mid one. Oh no, it's not mid. How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. D did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification I don't know what and a system there. of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that that um English, English, bro. Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. Thank a you. heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge. That's for certain. Thank you. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get met out like the other end. <laughs> Trouble is. We won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? Mm. Be happy if to. it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. Mm -hmm. So this smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. Mm -hmm. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hood with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. Uh. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? Yep. That's it in a nutshell. Yeah. We're only three short, mind. And we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way. In that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. With 
Canva in the hands of Akashic. And there's a missive. There's a missive with a fucking psycho. Oh my god, you guys are just piling it on, guys. This is ridiculous. And then I wonder why, like, I have 61 fucking plus hours of gameplay is because of the fact that, like, a majority of it is just side quest or That's not even my chambers. Can I get back through the door that I just opened? Thank you. <coughs> I mean, that's a quick loading stream, but jeez. Jews awfully thin these days. Got more shit to the collection. Wall of memories. Ambrosia. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing a ton more than I should, and I'm assuming it's because they're all like side quests tied. Open door, sir. I and the other crest breakers have grown concerned regarding the well being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest, her recent investigations have visited upon her. Uh, Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. If it's not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain. And learn about her troubles. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Mm -hmm. I'll do it for the renown, I guess. I will do it for the renown. Any other messes in here? Starting over. Uh, Clive, I cannot begin to thank you for all you've done for Lost Wing. So in lieu of any awkward remersence, <laughs> recommend, excuse me, I shall be sending several barrels of Nexiva's vintage. I can only hope they finally turn you off the foamy swole you and you so you and your so covet. Thank you. And that should be all the missives I have. So let's, if there's nothing here outside of what's in the infirmary, this is, so let's find the marble, the marble. So fast travels to three reeds. Where is three reeds? Three reeds is in Rosaria. Where is the closest day three reads local map? So I'm gonna set my marker here. Okay. I don't even remember being out here. Joke. I know this is that. Come on. Faster. Actually, and then I'm setting my marker right about here.
There's something big in the road. Oh, and I literally walked past where my marker's at. Awesome. That's actually a new skill set. I'm just, that's actually pretty fucking new. I've never seen them do that. So the first one I fought had something completely different in front of. Martha's Rest. Um, we're going to do a quick therapy and then we'll jump back to helping Wade out in East Pool. 